let's begin this unit probability distribution in this unit we have to study binomial distribution and Poisson distribution first of all let us understand what do we mean by probability distribution the experiment I am taking to explain is tossing a coin three times so below this we have the outcomes of this experiment so in total we have eight outcomes and what we are noting is the event in which we are counting how many heads we can get so the total possible numbers of head is 0 1 2 and 3 so we can have 0 heads or 1 head or 2 heads or 3 heads so this table I am noting the count of head x is count of head f is the frequency so you can count how many times we are getting zero heads so zero heads is only one so frequency is one one head i think three times so three times you can count one head so one two and three so three heads so like this two times head we are getting three times three heads we have only one outcome so this the total eight outcomes and if we write probabilities in this table probabilities of the occurrence of heads this table becomes probability distribution so this p of x means p of 0 is the probability of getting 0 head is 1 by 8 because 1 is my favorable outcome and 8 is the total number of outcome so like this we have noted all the have written all the probabilities what is the probability p3 what is the p3 probability of getting three heads is one by eight two heads three by eight because three is my favorable outcome and eight is the is the total outcome size of the sample space let's move further probability and set theory a small topic uh, we'll just give few idea about probability and set theory not it's not the complete thing you can study in in detail if you want so this is the formula the basic formula of the probability a and b normally these are the events we denote it by capital letters so a and b are the events of happening of a and b i, have, I haven't written a and b so i'm reading it properly a bar b bar are the event of not happening of a and b respectively a union b this is the event in which a or b or both happens a intersection b this set is the event in which both a and b happens simultaneously let's read further probability p of a now we are relating probability and set what do we mean by p of a p of b these are the probabilities of happening of a and b respectively p of a bar p of b bar they are the probabilities of not happening of a and b p of a union b the, this is the probability of happening of a or b or both a intersection b is the probability of happening of a and a and b simultaneously now theorem of total probability we know this uh, equation very well probability of a union b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b now this is the theorem of compound compound probability probability of a intersection b what is the probability of happening of a and b simultaneously is the multiplication of probability of a into probability of b slash a and this is something new this is called conditional probability conditional probability of happening of a provided a had already occurred so this is the conditional probability so in this we find we found we, we calculate the probability of B uh, after the happening of A. What effect is being occurred because of occurrence of A on B? 
this is called conditional probability let's move forward mutually exclusive events and the independent events so mutually exclusive events are the events which have nothing in their intersection so the intersection is empty so the probability is zero so for mutually exclusive events the probability of happening of both events simultaneously is zero so this this happens to the uh, to the theorem of total probability the intersection is zero so probability of a union b is probability of a plus probability of b so what is mutually uh, exclusive for example uh, if we toss a coin occurrence of head and tail they cannot happen simultaneously so so uh, so the appearance of head and appearance of tail it is mutually exclusive and the independent events a and b are independent events if occurrence of one event does not influence the occurrence of other event so automatically i goes into the conditional probability definition because it talks about the influence of occurrence of one to the other so if they are independent the conditional probability of happening of a provided a had already occurred is simply probability of b because if they are independent this conditional probability is independent of a and b so the theorem of compound probability is this so probability of so the conditional probability this is simply probability of b let's move further now we will take few examples on these topic uh, while in in lecture i think i have confused you with mutual exclusive events and the independent events with with the definitions i have taught these two topics in d division so i have cleared the definition part in this video now let's take few examples on these topics so first example this will clarify what what do we mean by conditional probability and the simple probability so the question is the two cards are drawn from a well shuffled pack of cards two cards are drawn from well shuffled pack of card find the probability that they both are king if first the first card drawn is replaced second the first card drawn is not replaced if i read these two sub questions that tells me that i have to draw the two cards in successive manner the first card drawn is replaced means i am drawing first card and replacing it back or in second case i am not replacing it then i am going to draw a second card so i have to draw two cards in successive manners so this is clear with this so i am drawing cards in successive manner so let's look at the solution a is the event of drawing first card and it is a king so i'm defining events like they are in my favor already i want both king so i'll define two events in which i'm drawing first card and second card and they both are king i am deliberately defining these events in my favor so a is the event of drawing first card and it is a king b is the event of drawing second card and it is also a king so this is how i have defined it so favorable event is a intersection b because i want these two events to happen simultaneously then only i am going to win this game so the favorable event is 
A intersection D and I want what is the probability of happening of this event A intersection B. So we have to find the probability of A intersection B. So the in first sub question first card drawn is replaced back. So let's talk about the event A. So what happens in event A? Event A, we are drawing first card and it has to be a king. So the probability of happening of event A is by definition it is this. So what is N of A? N of A is the favorable number of outcomes in 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 event A. In how many ways I can I can draw that one king card? So N of A, so there are there are four kings. So out of four, I can draw any one. So it can be done in four C one. So four, so four ways. And the sample size out of fifty two, I have to draw one card. So it can be done in fifty two C one. So fifty two ways. So what is the probability from this definition? So from this definition, probability of A is N of A upon N of S which is 4 by 52 so it comes 1 by 13 so this is the probability of happening of the event a so so the probability of getting one king in first draw is 1 by 13 now i want to draw a second card since we are in first sub question i have to replace that king one king card back to the deck into the deck so that one king card drawn in event a is replaced back into the deck so event b is independent of a because in event b i am drawing one more card which is again a king and in event a whatever whatever is done it is reversed so i have I have replaced that card so a and b they have nothing to do with each other so event b is independent of event a so what is the probability of happening of b so what is what is happening in b b in b event we are we are withdrawing again a king so that can be done in 4 c1 upon 52 c1 same thing so, A and B are independent events. So, the probability of happening of A and B simultaneously is this. This is the conditional probability. But in case of independent, I have to write this P of B slash A is simply P of B. So, just multiply 1 by 13 into 1 by 13. So, 1 upon 169. So, this is the probability probability of happening of a and b so this is the event when i'm going to have two kings on my two draws so 0 0.006 which is very small let's take second sub question in the second sub question the card drawn is not replaced So, so whatever happens in first uh, event A, we are not going to replace that card back into the deck. We have to throw it away. So, uh, the first card drawn is not replaced. So, what is the probability of happening of A? It's similar to the previous sub-question. Probability of A is N of A upon N of S, 52 and 4, 1 by 13. So, similar. Nothing nothing change changes in happening of a so the card drawn in event a is not replaced back it is thrown somewhere so the total card left in the deck is 51 and the card which is not replaced was a king and we have thrown it so we have only three kings now whatever happens in event a has something to do with uh, event b because we have to draw a king in B and you have thrown a king card in event A. So, 
probability of b now this time it is a conditional probability so the probability is n of b upon n of s so you have to choose one card and it has to be a king so now you have left only three kings three kings so you have to choose only one king out of out of uh, three so you can be you can choose in three c1 ways and that one card can be chosen out of 51 c1 ways so 3 c1 is 3 51 c1 is 51 which comes 1 by 70 so this time my event a and b they are not independent so what happened in a is related to b event p so this is the formula probability of a is 1 by 13 into conditional probability 1 by 70 so this is the probability 0 0.004 so my chances uh, if i compare the probability in sub question 1 and sub question 2 my probability of winning this game reduces if i throw that a king card Let's take the other question. So I have solved first question. I have solved this question. You can take this as practice. Okay, so a person A can hit a target one out of four times. B can hit the target two out of three times and C can hit the target three out of four times find the probability of at least two hit the target so the solution for this question is here this is the solution Okay, let's read the solution. Person A hits 1 out of 4 times, B hits 2 out of 3 times, C hits 3 out of 4 times. So these are the probabilities. Uh, so I'm defining some events. Event A is the event in which A hits the target, B is B hits the target, B is the event in which C hits the target. A bar, B bar, C bar, in similar manner, they are the events in which they miss the target. They are not going to hit. So let's write the probabilities. So probability of A for hitting the target, P of A. This is the probability of hitting the target by person A. So it is 1 by 4 because he is hitting 1 out of 4 times. So 1 by 4. So what's the probability of missing the target by shooter A is 3 by 4 which is 1 minus 1 by 4. So P of B is 2 by 3, P of B bar 1 by 3, P of C 3 by 4, P of C bar is 1 by 4. So with all these probabilities, so not hitting probability, you have to calculate it by P of 1 minus P of A. P of A, P of B and P of C. So favorable event is in which at least two person hits the target. So these are the uh, probabilities of hitting and not hitting. So in question they want what is the probability that at least two person can hit the target. So if at least two person can hit we are going to win this competition. So at least two person hits the target that is any two person hits or all three at least means this any two person any two person so any two person means a hits b hits and c doesn't or a hits c hits b doesn't or b hits c hits a doesn't or they all are going to hit the target so a hits b hits and c hits so these are the events 
in which at least two people are going to two person going to hit the target so let's write these statements in set set form set theory so a hits b hits and c doesn't hit it is nothing but a intersection b intersection c bar in this intersection in this set a hits and b hits and c misses the target so a hits second a hits and c hits and b misses the target so it can be written in uh, written as a intersection b bar intersection c or b hits c hits and a doesn't is a bar intersection b intersection c or they all hit the target is a intersection b intersection c so these four are the events are the favorable events which in which we are going to win this competition so these are the four events in which at least two person are going to hit the target so i'm writing this uh, in probab so let's write this in probability form so probability of at least two hits the two, two person hit the target is the probability of this event plus in probability or is plus so all these are plus so probability of this event probab plus probability of this event plus probability of this event plus probability of this event so we have written all four probabilities probabilities of all four events and observe that the all these events six events all are independent events i mean to say that hitting a target by a person is not related to the other other shooter or other person no one is going to disturb each other so all these events are independent events so the probability let's find let's find probability of each uh four events separately so what is the probability of a intersection b intersection c bar because they are independent they are simply multiplication of their individual probabilities probability of a into probability of b into probability of c bar so we have calculated the probabilities so p of a is 1 by 4 p of b is 2 by 3 and p of c bar was 1 by 4 so it comes 1 by 24 let's calculate the second probability this one probability of a intersection b bar intersection c is as the individual multiplication it comes this let's calculate this third probability a bar intersection b b intersection c so individual multiplication it comes 3 by 8 and the last probability this one It, it comes one by eight. So I have to add all all four uh, probabilities to find the probability of winning. So to win this competition, at least two should hit the target. So probability of at least two hits the target is simply addition of all four probabilities. It comes twenty nine by forty eight in decimals. It is zero point six. so more than 50% so 60% is the chances of winning the game if you look at the alternative we know that the probability the, the sum of all the probability is 1 so probability of p or what is p of 0 p of 0 is no one hits the target p of 1 is only one person hits the target only two person hit the target and all three hits the target so we know that the sum of all probability is always 1 since we want at least 2 so we are interested in p2 plus p3 so p2 plus p3 is equal to let's shift these two probabilities on that side so it is probability of uh, p2 means 2% hit any 2% hit plus p3 all three hit 
which means it is the at least two person is hitting the target which is one minus p0 minus p1 so this is the one way to solve the same this question let's take one more yeah this is the this is for your practice one more question was there for practice uh yeah this one the envelope So solve this question, envelope one. And there is one more question I had given for practice. This one, a box contains six red, four white, and five blue ball. Three balls are drawn at drawn successively from the box. Find the probability that they are in in order or in, in the order red, white, and blue if each ball is not replaced. So ball are not replaced replaced back into the box so the events are not independent so next will be binomial distribution so let's take in next next video